Hello friends, welcome back to All and Law. This is medical video lecture physiology. Medical, medical video lecture, medical video lecture physiology. Okay, physiology, physiology. And today's topic is uh, abnormal apoptosis. Abnormal. apoptosis okay guys so I'm going to talk very briefly about this and this is a uh, small no, I, I can't call it as an important topic for you but step one but it's it's if you know it very well then it's definitely helpful for your medical students and for your US medical examination also you know the apoptosis within normal limits is beneficial for the body, right? So, however, if there is any change that is too much of apoptosis or little one leads to abnormal conditions. Let's talk about if there is increased what you call apoptosis. Apoptosis. Okay. What happens if there is increased apoptosis? Like ischemic heart disease, MI, right? Myocardial ischemia. So ischemic heart disease. Okay. Then we have autoimmune diseases like hemolytic anemia, hemolytic anemia, okay. Then we have thrombocytopenia, 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 okay. Then we have HIV, that's AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And we have Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease. Okay. So if there is any too much or increased what you call apoptosis, then it leads to these are the, these are the conditions. Okay, guys. Um, if it's a too little, what you call if the it's abnormal. Too little is also abnormal, right? If it's a low apoptosis or a little too little. Then we see in the conditions like cancer because if the growth is not stopped, it leads to cancer, right? And then we have the other condition that is ALPS, auto A L autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome. Okay, guys. So these are the conditions you should remember. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I think this video is very helpful for your uh, your assembly and for your medical student life. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.